Let's look at a fire door report created by Pocket Survey. The front page is branded with your logo and your address. Then you've got your front photo of the building, plus an optional trade logo. Then you get an automatic table of contents, which is all hyperlinked. So you can jump to the different sections quickly. The report contains quite a lot of detailed information, all created at a click of a button. Then you've got an introduction page. Now all these phrases can be edited in the app, but we'll come to that later in the app setup. The overview section of the report shows inspection details, client details, building details. And if you're using the Remedial Works add-on feature, you can see the total cost of the Remedial Work for the doors in this building. And you've got a breakdown of the status of all the doors. If you've enabled the additional information feature, you can capture a lot of general information about the building. All of this is configurable in the app setup. The Fire Door Action Plan section summarises the doors needing replacement or remedial action. Then, for each door, detailed information covers description, status, compliances, non-compliances, actions and notes. You can have up to eight photos for each door. If you've chosen the Works add-on feature, they will be listed below the photo. On the next page, you can see detailed specifications of the door. Optionally, you can have a separate page for all the extra details about the door. This is useful if you are part of an accreditation scheme such as BN Trada. Each door is shown in a similar format. Notice, rather than displaying the old-fashioned yes, no answers. We list out compliances, non-compliances and actions. This is much more useful and easier to understand. And your client will love the format. Then you've got a fire door register. This is a summary of all the doors, showing the door status, door type, the location and the door reference. It's handy for them to see the general fire safety guidelines they should adhere to. Incidentally, sections in the report, such as explanation of terms, can be shown or not, depending on your preferences. You've got your disclaimer and limitations section. Bear in mind that all these phrases in your report can be set up within the app to customise it to your needs. The quality assurance statement will show the inspector's signature, and if you've chosen to use quality checkers, then as well. At the end, you have your four plans and any additional building images you've included in your report. If you want to save your PDF report, tap the download button to save it to your storage area. Let's close the PDF report and get back to the app. Now, remember to get your low-cost trial if you're not already a Pocket Survey user, where you will get your first month's subscription at a vastly reduced price. Remember, there's no obligation to carry on your subscription after the trial month, and you've got access to the full software, including free training and support. If you don't like the software after that, that's no problem. Just let us know and we won't bill you and you can continue your search for a digital solution for your fire door inspections. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to learn more about any of our Pocket Survey apps, please visit our website pocketsurvey.com where you'll see lots of information about all our building and inspection software. So that's the Pocket Survey Fire Door Inspection Report in a nutshell. I hope you enjoyed this short demonstration. If you need more detail, take a look at our longer training video. Bye for now and see you soon.